Welcome back to the Plant Web Lab here at Emerson Process Management in Marshalltown, Iowa. I'm James Holloway. In this video, we're going to mount a FieldView DVC 6200 digital valve controller to this Fisher 657 size 40i actuator. Unlike most other actuators, the size I is designed specifically for the integral mounting of Fisher FieldView instruments. As always, we want to be familiar with all of the safety precautions found in the instruction manuals for the 657 size I and DVC 6200. You can find these documents online by following the links below. Take time to ensure you have the necessary safety equipment and tools needed for this assembly. Safety glasses, safety gloves, the black mounting template packaged with your DVC, a screwdriver, and a wrench. When mounting a DVC 6200, make sure that the actuator is facing the correct direction with the integrated mounting pad on the right side of the actuator yoke while you're looking at it. Now we need to take two precautions before proceeding. First, completely isolate the valve and actuator from the process if it's in service. Second, relieve all the pressure in the actuator. Since a 657 size I is fail up, the actuator stem should be fully retracted. With the actuator in fail up position, we're going to install the connector arm onto the coupling block. Depending on the size of your actuator, the connector arm may have slight variations. So always check that your mounting kit is the right size for your actuator. To attach the connector arm, first remove one of the two bolts from the coupling block. Then install the bolt through the slot and the connecting arm and tighten. Repeat this process with the other bolt. Leave the bolts loose because we'll fine tune the alignment here shortly. Be sure that when the connecting arm is fixed in place, the thin slotted extension hangs downward. Next, we'll attach the magnetic array to the connector arm. This is done by lining up the magnetic array to the right of the slotted extension on the connecting arm. Once in place, fasten the array with the two screws provided until they are snug, but do not over tighten them. We'll fine tune the alignment of the connecting arm and magnetic array using the black alignment template. Insert the alignment template into the actuator yoke leg as shown here and move the connector arm horizontally until the array fits the channel in the template. Tighten the bolts on the coupling block to fix the connecting arm in place. We must adjust the array to the correct vertical position. Start by loosening the snug screws so that the array is free to move up and down within the thin slot. Since the 657 size I is a fail up actuator, the bottom white line on the array should be even with the white line on the alignment template. Once that is in position, tighten the screws holding the array. Once we've aligned the magnetic array, we'll stroke the valve one complete cycle to make sure the template's white line stays within the lines on the array for the full travel distance. With the array properly aligned, we can mount the DVC. Before doing this, you want to verify that the pneumatic output port on the back of the DVC is plugged. Position the DVC on the actuator's mounting pad and line up the three corresponding bolt holes. Place the three long hex cap screws through the rear of the yoke into the DVC. At this point, use tubing to connect the actuator's pneumatic input port with the DVC's output port. We've now learned how to mount a FieldView DVC 6200 to a Fisher Type 657 size 40i actuator using its integrated mounting pad. So, let's review this procedure. First, we installed the connector arm to the coupling block. Remember to relieve actuator pressure when using a 657 size I. 
Second, we attach the magnetic array to the connector arm. Third, we use the mounting template to properly adjust the connector arm and magnetic array. Fourth, we confirm that the pneumatic output port in the back of the DVC is plugged. Finally, we attach the DVC 6200 to the yoke using the three hex cap screws and establish an air passageway with tubing. For more information on the Fisher 657 size I actuator, FieldView DVC 6200, or any other Fisher products, follow the link to the website below. And thanks for watching. Thank you.